na arohusem kakraka biya si Canada a ndi pajun ho mo ntiasi Ghana ni di shebi a ono so arohusem ya to no omo o kire se owo eye emma enan na Toronto eno owo father of four killed in Toronto killed at Toronto bus stop na se omo kire se papa bi an emma eye enan ye kunu e wo Toronto bus stop na yen kan asem no munchi mo a 39 year old father of four of four from Ghana has been identified as the man killed in one uh, of two seemingly random shooting in northwest Toronto over the weekend. In a police update on Tuesday, uh, Philip Aye uh, Campbell said a dubwachi oh 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 Ghana Nipao and another unnamed 16 year old boy were shot. Oh oh oh! At the bus stop, uh, twenty-four hours apart, uh, apart while waiting for a bus. Uh, oh 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 oh! In the area of Jane Street and Drifford Avenue on Friday and Saturday. And there's a bus stop. Who's the one who's going to jump on? Hmm. Who's the one who's going to jump on? I'm going to go for a bus. I'm going to go for a bus. I'm going to go for a bus. I'm going to go for Ibi ako kani. Yee, yevati. Ah! Ah, sembe ukureni. Police said the 16-year-old victim who was on his way to a volleyball game at that time of, of the Friday shooting remains in hospital in critical but stable condition with potentially life attending injuries. Oh, okay, nese 16 boy ni di ondi wonguye. Wow. In both cases, the victim were waiting outside of the bus stop in the area when an unknown suspect approached and fired shot at them. Ah! Canada is the same thing. It's not the same thing. But the Canada is the same thing. It's not 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 the Oh! Ah, sembe ukreni. Wede ya bushi ya mamu yako. Wede ya bushi ya munka fra, munka fra, munka fra. Eish. Ah, sembe ukreni. Kope bibi ya bidi. Ene mba ya dene na. Yankwa ni yankwa tiye insa mwa hudwa. Omo di tuja abra polisi fo. A omo wa Kanada. Eh, eba so ome ma update. E di afa sembe ukreni. Omo jina eye polisi fo. Ane omo di insa mwa bilina tuja. E fa abra ntiye. Ah, wafri na nanom. Eh, wafri ati ase fo. Asa ase so. And the din our mother barbon thing, almost say your friend was a gun and he was in fear thirty nine. Your friend was a a do watchy. You could see some more police for, and so at the two jar, I'm running on my update. Approximately six p.m., a male youth was shot, taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Uh, what I can tell you about this uh, this young man, this teenager, is that he's a 16-year-old, uh, avid sports player, uh, visits school, and uh, a good good student at school. Uh, he was waiting at the bus stop to go actually play a volleyball game uh, at the time he was shot. We do not believe that there is any relationship at this time between this young man uh, and the other victim or the offender. At this time, the victim remains in hospital with significant injuries, potentially life-altering. Um, yesterday, the chief, myself, accompanied by the detectives, uh, went to the hospital. Uh, we met with the mother of uh, the young man who is very traumatized by what has occurred, but is thankful that her son is alive. On Saturday at approximately 3.05 p.m., officers from 31 Division responded to a shooting in the area of Driftwood and Jane. Uh, they located a victim with gunshot wounds where he was taken to the hospital and uh, pronounced deceased. We can now identify the homicide victim as Mr. Adu Boache. That's spelled B-O-A-K-Y-E. He was 39 years old and he was from Ghana. Mr. Boache was a father, an uncle, a nephew, and a son. He came to Canada this past November to support his family. He leaves behind a wife and four children. When this incident occurred, we know Mr. Boache was walking by a bus shelter near 4359 Jane Street. Our investigation thus far has revealed there is no relationship between Mr. Boache 
and the individual or individuals who shot him. And like the victim shot the day before, Mr. Boache was innocently going about his business. This is an active and ongoing investigation, and we believe the two shootings are connected. As you know, we also believe the same vehicle, st stolen vehicle correction, was involved in both shootings. That a vehicle was found abandoned in Hamilton. We are asking anyone who may have seen the vehicle, a black Acura RDX, plate number, Charlie Victor Echo November, 900 if you have any video or dash cam or anything if you've seen the vehicle please call us through video canvassing we we're able to provide information on the suspect we believe to be involved that picture was recently released in the media the suspect is described as a male black 18 to 25 years old thin build he was wearing a black coat a white hoodie black pants black shoes a black face covering and possibly a white surgical mask underneath. I cannot provide further details on the ongoing investigation beyond that, but we are here asking for the public's help. If anyone in the community knows anything about these shootings or who may have committed them, we are asking you to please contact us so we can bring the offenders to justice. We believe these two victims were shot indiscriminately one person is dead, and the other has had their life altered forever. And again, if you have any information, please contact 31 Division at 416-808-3100, or you can provide information anonymously to Crime Stoppers. Both of the uh, victims uh, were uh, enjoying this community, and uh, nothing in our investigation has shown that they are in any way affiliated to a gang or anything of that nature. Uh, they were completely and utterly innocent, and, uh, and which is a, a big part of what has caused alarm in this community. And speaking to that piece uh, is the reason why not only that we're here giving you this information, it's thanks to your efforts that we found the vehicle. We also want to get to the community that we're going to be in, in this area on foot, uh, listening to you, listening to your concerns, this command post, uh, is here. We're going to have community outreach to provide counseling uh, in relation to trauma and, and it's really important for the community to know that we're here for your safety. Uh, we take these incidents very seriously. I have the utmost faith in the homicide squad and, and investigating this and bringing the perpetrator or perpetrators to justice. But really the, the final piece is to know that we're truly committed uh, in being here and being part of the community and we're listening and we need the community's support. Uh, we have released the image of the suspect. Please take a look at who this individual is. Uh, this individual took uh, upon themselves to carry out actions that has left one person dead and obviously uh, injured a 16 year old who was on the way to a volleyball game. And that's the piece that really needs to resonate and understood. So we're looking for the community's help in identifying this individual and any other information that can assist us, whether they want to contact 31 Division, uh, that's where the homicide unit is working out of, or Crime Stoppers at 222 Tips. So shots were not fired from the vehicle. It was someone who was outside of the vehicle approaching the suspect and fired. Correct. Correct. Is there a theory behind this? Could this be gang initiation or something like that? So that's a, that's a very valid question. Uh, I can tell you that they're actively investigating uh, witness interviews, canvassing, and the offender will tell us that and what that is is understanding what their motives were uh, once we have apprehended this person that's going to come forward but to specifically answer your question the the victims were doing what anybody in the city were doing enjoying their community this offender and, and or offenders uh, took it upon themselves to to carry out violence and whether that violence could be gang related uh, we're alive to that and that is a possibility. I know it was alluded to by the inspector on the weekend. Uh, whether this this has hallmarks of gang violence, it does. But all those things are going to come forward as we as we unpack this, as we investigate this more, and investigate the vehicle, and with the public's assistance, identify this suspect. I believe the individuals, people in the community that know this individual, 
I don't think it will be difficult. Uh, and that's where we're seeking people's assistance. Uh, that the image that has been released, uh, I believe, will provide uh, an opportunity for people to hold this person accountable for their actions. And that's where we're looking for the. And some say that police for the two ja at the far a year, yaya niya bema a year a do a huan a nyasem ketua nese a do boachi nyankupo enfa okra ensi yipa se asama enti se. Uh, ato oni abusunya ato gana fu yi na mi eso se gana fu e wo eye canada to run to see ya ye kase no mo na aye sada utim se obi a e be boto pan yi because wonim de betimi ato on your way to wajuma kura wo ko ne ah sembe kura ni abese we de abusunya e ma mo yakopa e ma mo demrefedu ene amane hu very bad news pan na esisa no hello abusunya fu so we pass the features right here on for the and then after we cut them with unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. I will two pieces from Kwa. So we did you choose here and my was seen here fit her. Now here fit her no so no. Na eji and carboni be we no mo biya. Any tea stains, coffee stains, smoking stains be we we no mo biya. Unique laser whitening product. I be yini yini free so ma kama kama. The only thing is say we be too so. Na o de go o brush na so. O wi a na o de twetwe o sene so nyina. Come on. O wi a en wo ru anum gen wo num sa. Into contact Unique Laser Whitening at 079 9979 Unique Laser Whitening or say muni 